It's a good morning this morning. And you know why? I'm going fishing. My angling journey began when I started my relationship with Smith some 20 odd years ago. Initially, I didn't really understand why he wanted to leave me every weekend to go sit by a muddy lake. And to be honest, I thought he was up to no good. So one weekend, I decided to join him for a fishing trip. And immediately, I could see why Samir loved fishing so much. Just being outside with the fresh air and the nature and everything else that goes with it. I was hooked. But not so much on the angling, just being outside and the connection with the environment was enough for me. But in the last five years, I've really tried to develop my skills as an angler. And in that time, I've been truly lucky enough to have traveled to some of Europe's best carp waters and caught some truly epic fish along the way. I've really been enjoying my angling journey, but as a female in the carp fishing world, you can get a lot of grief that men just don't get. Like, she's too skinny, she's too fat, she's too muscular, she's too fake, she don't even put her rods out. Come on guys, give the girl a break. Despite the negativities that females can receive, it don't change the love for the sport. Samir and I love fishing together, and throughout the years I've never actually been fishing on my own. For sure I do everything when it comes to fishing when I'm with Samir, but I feel like it's time to get out on my own and prove to myself I can do it alone. Am I nervous? Yeah, sure I'm nervous, but not about the angling, more about talking to the camera, as I often get my words in a muddle. Right, I think that's enough waffle for now, and it's time to take you guys on my first solo mission. Let's go. See what a Roman reservoir looks like. So here we are at this 1,800 year old Roman reservoir. What I want to do is take a walk around the whole lake to see if I can see any fish jump, which will give me a good indication where I want to start fishing. Let's go. Spotting two fish show off the dam wall, the barrage area was definitely looking like an option. Despite having a good look around, the rest of the lake looked pretty dead. With a change in the weather coming that afternoon, I hoped I could spot more carp before the day's end. This morning I took a lovely walk around this beautiful lake and what an amazing place it is. As I was on the barrage I see a few small fish show so I decided to walk to the centre of the lake where the peninsula is and I see two bigger fish jump. So for me, that's my decision. I'm going to fish here. So I better get my gear out. It's got to be one of the worst bits, but gives the guns a good workout.
I'm going to fish two rods on particle and two rods on boilies, one being a snowman and one being a pop-up. This is my pop-up rig, it's called a multi-rig and it's one of my favourite rigs as it's so easy to tie and it will be the only one I tie for this session. I just have to slip the hook off and put a new one on and I'm ready to go. Samir absolutely hates this rig. He says the double duck section is too thick and blatant but for me I've caught plenty of fish on this so I'm just going with it. So for my particle and snowman rig I'm going to be using a blowback rig which me and Samir always use. Oh, it's a right miss trying to get these sticks into the ground but I've managed to find gaps in between the rocks and I've finally done it. 20 minutes in, now it's time to get my rods out. The advantage about being on a point is that I can spread my rods out and cover quite a wide range of water, which makes me feel very confident. I found a nice spot clustered by rocks and surrounded by weed at seven metres. So I'm going to put a rod here. Oh, that's lovely and soft, just after the rocks. Perfect. So I like to put a stick on because it protects the hook and it's extra attraction. I'm really happy with the positioning of my rods, especially the two where I see two bosh out. So going into tonight, I'm really confident about putting a fish on the bank. But first things first, I'm gonna make myself a banging spaghetti bolognese, as it's really important that you keep your energy levels up with this kind of angling, because it's very demanding. And what a beautiful ending to an amazing day. But what I could do with now is a few carp. Let's see what happens tonight. What a beautiful sunrise it is this morning. And what makes it even better? I've got a carp in the sack. So let's finish my coffee and let's go show you. What a beautiful wake up call. Caught on a tiger nut from the rock spot, which I'm buzzing about. Beautiful time. Look at that, the sun's rising. Can we ask for anything more? Fish.
Wow. Third catch of this morning. Oh, they're getting bigger. So yeah, I'm really, really confident. I'm gonna take a picture of this one and move my right hand rod because the action does appear just to be all on the left. of the morning and what a wood carving this beast is this lake's been really really kind to me for the last 24 hours wait until you see the other one I've got to show you good times okay your little wooden warrior go and tell the rest of your mates where the squid's at My third fish of the morning. Wasn't that much of a fighter. Come from the left, absolutely buzzing. Got my rods back out and hopefully I'll get some big mummers. The last 24 hours have been amazing. This little venue is crazy. It's full of fish and hopefully I can bag more of the same tonight. With the cart returned, it was time to sit back and appreciate the splendour of this historical Roman lake. There's been no further action since this morning. The sun is high in the sky, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to move my rod. The action has been coming from my middle rods just out in front of the rocks. Um, so what I'm gonna do is move that rod to a similar distance. My last two captures both come on a Scopex squid snowman. I'm going to switch one of my particle rods over to the same. In the hope of getting another rod working. So I'm just heading back to where I've just come from to go and find where the rocks end and place my rod there. You see them rocks on the echo, I'm gonna literally drop my rod a meter in front on a nice sandy area.
The rods fell silent for the rest of the day, but that didn't matter. Just being here in this beautiful place was food for my soul. Oh, just warming up now. No bites last night, no jumping this morning, which is really strange because every morning, even on my recce, I see so many fish jumping. But the temperature did drop, so I'm hoping it's just that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to change my approach or possibly move. I don't like being stuck in one place for too long. So I think I might just drink my coffee, decide what I'm gonna do, and I think it's gonna be a move. We'll see. Get this in there. Coffee and a sausage sandwich, and then a bite. So, I don't think it was that big, but it was strong. Got it. So, I finished my coffee. Thought, right, watch out for a little bit more jumping. And then my left hand rod went screaming off, buzzing, started running down to it. Got it, hooked on, 10 reels in, come off. Didn't think I needed the boat, didn't feel snagged. It was pretty strong, but hey, put a new hook on, bait on, straight back out. So that's given me an indication that there are still fish in the area. So let's do this. With my rod back out, I was joined by a local angler who was kind enough to bring me some traditional Spanish breakfast. After losing that fish this morning, there has been no further action and to be honest, the weather conditions don't look great. Up until 30 minutes ago, it's been flat calm and blazing hot sunshine. And to be honest, we've only seen two fish show all day. Now I'm going to change my approach a bit. I'm gonna use the same blowback rig that I've used the whole session, but this time I'm gonna add a white pop-up to try and catch the fish's eye. All my rods done. Satisfied with where I've got them. Nothing much I can do now, but make something nice to eat and relax and hopefully get a few bites. Let's do this. Yesterday, I saw about 20 fish jump at dusk. Today, at best, three. But I've done my best today where I've put my rods and I'm confident. So if I catch tonight, buzzing. But if not, 
just being here is amazing. And being put in the middle as well, I can see everything. So if nothing happens tonight, I will definitely move. Fingers crossed, the carp god's gonna be kind to me. beautiful sunrise it is this morning and I feel totally blessed to be sitting here there wasn't that much activity last night and I didn't think it was gonna happen but around about five o'clock this morning my left hand rod went screaming off the one I moved from the right hand margin to the left buzzing wait until you see what I've got the most amazing mirror so I'm gonna drink my coffee and get some pictures and show you guys what I've got. My first Spanish mirror. What a beautiful one it is. And there you go. I'm buzzing with my changing tactics yesterday. He's not a monster, but absolutely beautiful. And there are big ones like this in here, and they just are epic fish. So, one more night, and hopefully, Mama comes to see me. Thank you so much. My first Spanish mirror, and what a beaut it is. What an epic carp. If I catch another one like this tonight, or in the morning, I'm going to be ecstatic, but I'm buzzing all the same just to have this beautiful creature in my arms. I'm kind of feeling lazy about not moving, but at the same time, if I haven't seen anything to move on to, it all seems a bit pointless. Yesterday, I managed to force a bite by changing my hook bait to a Scopex squid bottom bait and a white pop-up. Plus, moving my rod to where I see carp show brought a beautiful mirror to the bank. Today, I'm going to switch all my rods to the same approach in the hope I can catch one last carp for my final night for this session. Wish me luck, guys. Tying four fresh blowback rigs with Scopex squid, I was leaving nothing to chance for the final night. I just hoped this would be enough to tempt one last carp to the bank. Tonight. 
So I finally got all my rods out and I'm really happy and confident with where I've got them. It's my last night and I feel confident, but I just hope I catch another one tonight or two. This place is so magical. It's a 1,800 year old Roman reservoir. And just being here and just feeling the energy, it's just, it's magic, it's magic. If I don't catch another fish tonight, I know where it is and I'm sure to come back. But the reason why I want to catch another fish tonight is with the mirror that I caught earlier this morning is so beautiful, but there are a few monsters that are just the same, fully, fully plated, but they look like they've got barnacles all over them. I've never seen fish like them in my life. And just to see one of those in my arms would be a dream. So hopefully tonight, the gark cods are kind to me and I can see one of those in the sack, but yeah. Wish me luck. Gark gobs. Gark gobs. <laughs> Cooking one last meal for the final night. I would have my friends over for a farewell social. Just as my buddies were saying goodbye, my left hand rod was away. Taking no chances, I was straight out in the boat. After a big battle, I thought it was over, but unfortunately, I was to lose this fish right at the net. Fishing has made me see some of the most beautiful sunrises and sunsets. And for me, there's a rule, never miss any of them. And this is just one of the most epic yet. It's just, it's mesmerizing. Another quiet night last night. But I did lose a fish an hour after dusk to a hook pull at the net. Slightly disappointed, he weren't a big one. But he did give me a fight. It's about eight o'clock now. I haven't seen no jumping, but the weather has significantly changed. There's lots of clouds, there's rain dew, and it's meant to be heavy. So if I don't catch nothing by 12 o'clock, I might just stay another night. Twelve o'clock came and went without any carp, so it was time to get the Titan up before the incoming storm arrived. Once again, it had been a quiet day, despite the favourable conditions. All my hopes were pinned on one last carp, on what was definitely the final night of this session. What a beautiful sunrise it is this morning. And I tell you why, it's my final day and the carp came to see me last night. Around about 12 o'clock, morning my left hand rods went screaming off, went straight out in the boat. Can't wait to show you. Let's go and have a look at him. So I'm absolutely buzzing with this catch. I'm so glad I stayed an extra night because, yeah, well, wouldn't have caught this little beak, would I? I've had such an amazing time this week. I've gained so much confidence. 
So I will definitely be going fishing alone. Um, but like I said, I've had a fantastic time. But I'm sure to come back to this place. It's just on my doorstep, so yeah, what a gem. Beautiful times, best times. Thank you, Cops. I've had a wonderful time over the last five nights, and in the process, I've learned so much, not just about angling, but about myself too. I will be sure to repeat this experience again, and maybe, just maybe, I'll bring you guys along with me too.